What's up enthusiast? This week's Workbench Wednesday is a little bit different. It's uh, less of a working on a project and more of a guess a I guess a PSA. Uh, now I've talked about these little worker pull mag pull type things in the past and I really really like them. They're one of my favorite products if not yeah up there is one of my favorite accessories for nerfing uh, very quickly became that. But I noticed a problem recently, which was really, really a bummer. Um, but I wanted to share all that, share it with all of you because, well, it's important for everyone to know what exactly. I put that on backwards. I'm pretty talented. Uh, what the issue is before you go and buy these, and the issue comes when you stack these in a two-stack mag holder. So we put the first one in, great, no problem. Put the second one in, and it, it gets caught you'll notice it's not in all the way so the width of the lip here on these actually causes an issue with placing the mags in now you can shift it to the side and force it in but it creates a kind of not super comforting bow uh, so I'm not a huge fan of that and that's really really a major bummer to me because I was looking forward to running these in a double stack pattern. Now what I'm likely going to be doing for the near future is just running them with the bottom one having the mag pull and the top one not just using the standard butt plate or even no butt plate but that way there's not any bowing or any forced issues that I can see. I mean, it, they're touching, but it doesn't seem to be putting any pressure or stress on the actual magazine or the mag holder. Uh, and this still allows me to, to find the bottom one. I can pull it out and it'll get tossed, you know, somewhere else. Uh, and then I've, I've got this other one that I can grab and, and you know, deal with as I, I need to. But that is, that's a real big bummer for me. I really, really like these. Now, there's something I've wanted for a very long time, and that is uh, stacked mag holders that are not directly on top of each other, but instead staggered. So the hole or the entry point would be like maybe here or so on the other one, and that would allow the mags to stack like so or something similar. And then you can still grab the bottom one, not have an issue with, with indexing or anything like that, and then grab the second one on top. That's just kind of something that I've really wanted, that, that staggered effect. And this is just all the more reason for that to exist uh, because of this problem. And this probably just bummed me out so much when I saw it. This bummed me out an amazing amount because I was so excited. And then I just realized I didn't want to put that amount of, like, stress like it doesn't seem like it's gonna break but I don't know it just it, it doesn't look it doesn't look right to me I, I'm not sure I would play a full day with this but I don't know let me do you think this is like I said this is one of my favorite if not my favorite accessory that uh, has come out recently I just I just love it and it makes me so sad that it has issues when it comes to double stacked mag holders so um before you go out and buy any of these, definitely keep that in mind when it comes to how you are wearing your rig and wearing your mags on you. Because if you like to use double stacks, maybe just get these for the bottom of your mag or the bottom stack of your mags. You have one with, one without. Just, just some options. Let me know what you think of this issue. Is this a non-issue for you? Is this something that you think isn't going to cause undo stress on the, the magazine holder over time or cause any issues. Uh, just let me know what you think in general about this and uh, yeah, whether or not this is a deal breaker for you or if you're okay with it. But that's going to do it for today's episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, as a, again, let me, let me know in the comments your thoughts. And if you're new to the channel and enjoyed this video, feel free to hit the subscribe button for more in the future. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'm Jangular, and I'll see you next time.